number one format painter select the visual in this case the clustered column chart go to uh, format painter click on format painter and paste it on the slicer so that you have the same formatting for the slicer too this is the tip number one and tip number two is in case if you're presenting uh, a report page and if there are a lot of objects as shown here and uh, you want the objects to be locked in place say uh, for example if you click on this uh, particular object you can see that it is moving so in case if you don't want that all you could do is go to view and you can um, click on lock objects so that those lock objects will be in place so that you can uh, do the presentation without uh, worrying about the objects being displaced so go to view click on lock, lock objects and all the objects are locked in place so that you can um, do the presentation or whatever and once you're done you can go back and toggle that button unlock and lock the next tip is how to create uh, spark lines you can create spark lines in a table or a matrix and these are tiny charts shown within the cells of a table or matrix and it will be helpful to compare trends quickly all you can do is uh, select the table visual right click go to your numerical column right click on it add a spark line and these are the various settings you can add uh, say month year for the x-axis and individual um, spark lines your spark lines are ready so you can always go back and uh, edit the settings too here in case if you change your mind and also in the format section you can make all the changes it could be line or a column you can add uh, those things what are visible like highest and lowest and also change the color of the marker increase the size and you can do all those format settings and here is the spark lines it's pretty easy right and uh, the next uh, tip is uh, how to use the shortcuts in power bi and you can uh, shift and uh, click on a question mark or directly click on a question mark in a report page and this will open a new window displaying all the shortcuts as shown here these are pretty useful in case if you're working on uh, creating a lot of power bi reports these shortcuts are pretty handy and it will be useful and the final tip is how to create data groups in case if you have a uh, your model you have a table you there are a couple of ways you can create data groups like shown here you can go directly to the column and add a group uh, like as shown here what you can pick and uh, those uh, whatever items you can rename them also create a new group and uh, that is uh, shown in the data pane also you can go to table view and you can edit that group you can add more items and create another group for example as shown here and that way you have different groups and uh, you can select that particular group and uh, those values are shown pretty handy right thanks for watching and see you in the next video